The last time I checked, there is no uh, university major for fundraising. I don't think anyone really goes directly into the development profession. I think it happens as a result of a combination of passion and interest and serendipity, and that was certainly my case. So I grew up in a university town in the middle of the cornfields of Illinois. My father was a professor, my mom was a nurse. I think what really made me attracted to the kind of work that you find in the nonprofit sector was very early on, I became very interested in trying to figure out, for example, how to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and had actually went to university, started studying Arabic and became kind of a Middle Eastern scholar because that's what I was going to try to do. Obviously, I failed at that spectacularly, but the course of trying to look at problems that cannot be solved in a kind of business way, uh, but perhaps could be worked at and through the work of a nonprofit, I have found very meaningful. One thing I get asked a lot about, which is how did you go from studying social economic anthropology to fundraising? And I like to tell people that actually that background is quite useful because one of the central tenets of anthropology is to try to understand people and society and culture, not from your own point of view or your own framework, but from theirs. And when you do that in the development context, that means really listening to what philanthropists care about, understanding their passions, understanding their motivations from their point of view and not from your own. I recall a time at Rice University when they broke ground on a new residential college that I had worked pretty extensively on making that happen with the donors, and this was Bert and Dee Dee McMurtry. And what was so wonderful during that groundbreaking ceremony was the absolute joy that they both had as this was taking place. It was really priceless, and it's a, a memory that will stick with me for the rest of my life.